This is software for our machine. Double click to open. It's already auto connected here. There are these channels in total. First, let's discuss how this machine detects battery capacity. Let's click on this step in the upper left corner. Then select the corresponding model at the top left. Then click the bottom right to create a plan. The name can be entered here. Ternary Lithium Battery. This parallel number selects 1. Confirm. Click on the name we just built. Click it. Then click Add. In the first step, we need constant current and constant voltage charging. So we expand this option. Select constant current and constant voltage charging CC and CV charge. The time doesn't need to be set. We set this voltage. This is the charging voltage. If it's ternary lithium, we set it to 4.2 volts. Our unit is millivolts, so fill in 4200. This current is our charging current. Let's set up a 5A here, which is 5000 milliamperes. Capacity doesn't need to be set. This is our cutoff current. We can set it to 300. Confirm. Then click Add. We choose Idle. Idle, the unit here is minutes. We just fill in 3. 3 minutes idle. OK, confirm. Then click Add again. We need to choose constant current discharge. CC discharge. No need to set the time. Set our voltage. The minimum voltage for ternary lithium battery is 2.8. That's 2800 millivolts. For the discharge current, we choose 5 amps, so fill in 5000 ma. We click confirm. We click add again. Select idle. Time we choose 3 minutes. Confirm. Final step. Let's click add again. After discharging, we need to choose constant current and constant voltage charging CC and CV charge. No need to set time. Set the voltage. Finally, it can be charged to 3700 MV. Current. Charging current is 5000. No need to set capacity. Cut off current 300. Confirm. We set 5 steps in total. Step 1 is to charge to highest voltage. Then idle for 3 minutes, then put it to the lowest voltage. Battery capacity is known. We'll be free for another 3 minutes. Finally, recharge the battery. It balances the battery. Then click save. OK. Exit this. We can click this channel. Right click. Setting slash start. We select the steps and give it unfold. Choose the name ternary lithium battery. Click it. Confirm. It started working. Current is rising. Reach the set 5000. If you want to see the data of a battery here, let's right click, analyze. Here is a curve change diagram of one of our voltage, current, and capacity. On the right, you can see the voltage. 
Current Capacity Time These data You can also click this plus sign We can expand it This is detailed data recorded every 10 seconds Let's talk about how to export it. Export to the Excel sheet on the desktop. Click to export. Click confirm here. Save to desktop. Let's change the name. To help us remember. We changed the name to Ternary Lithium Battery. Confirmed. OK. Close this. Minimize. Find the file we just created. Trilateral lithium battery. Click it. Here is the data we just exported. Look to the right. This curve can also be exported. Let's check these data. OK, we can turn it off. Return to that software. We stop it. Next, let's talk about how to balance the battery. First, click a button in the top left. Next, select your machine model in the top left. Then, create a new plan in the bottom right. Name. We can input charging balancing here. Number of parallel connections, choose 1. Confirm. Then, click the charging balance name. Click it. Click Add. If it is charging balance, we need to choose constant current and constant voltage charging CC and CV charge. Time does not need to be set. We set the voltage. This is set according to the voltage you need to equalize. If I want to equalize to 3.7 volts, we set 3,700 millivolts. This is the charging current. Let's set a maximum of 10,000 milliamp hours. We set the cutoff current to 500. Confirmed. No need to set time and capacity. We just set it up here. Save it. OK, we can create a new discharge equalization scheme again. We still click Add Work Step Program. Name, we enter a discharge equalization. Number of parallel connections, choose Confirmed. 1. Confirmed. Then we click on the name Discharge Equalization. Click Add. Well, we discharge equalization. Select a plan, scroll down. Selective discharge equalization. Select constant current and constant voltage discharge, CC, and CV discharge. No need to set time. Set the voltage we need to discharge to. This is the discharge current we need, set to 5000 milliamperes. Capacity this does is not our discharge need to be set. Cutoff current, set to 500. Confirm. Here we click Save. Turn off this plan. First battery. It has a low voltage. I need to charge it balancing. We operate like this, right click. Setting slash start, click. If we need charge balancing, 
Choose this step and choose the name of charge balancing we just set. After clicking, we confirm. If we need to balance the discharging, we right click and click setting slash start. Select step, choose discharge balance. OK, click confirm. It runs automatically here. We were just. The first channel charges it balancing. The second channel discharges it balancing. This machine has independent channels. Each channel can be controlled separately. Of course, you can also choose to control all channels. Press Ctrl plus A to select all channels. Then, you can right-click, stop, all channels stop simultaneously. You can also right-click and setting slash start. Then select the step, select charge balancing, confirm. It's to power all channels at the same time. 